far in January. Japan had an earthquake and 168 people died. Miami had mall aliens. Iran and Beirut were attacked. The release of all the Epstein documents. Air Alaska, the plane door blew off mid-plane and Air Alaska's answer to that was not, don't worry, we're safe to fly on. Instead, promising to put more gays and more people of ethnic minority inside of the cockpit. Inside of New York, there was a synagogue full of tunnels underneath it where they were trafficking children. BTC went up, and then Ecuador gangs took over the TV station, and a civil war started against the government. And then South Africa managed to sue Israel at the ICJ, which is a miracle in and of itself, because I don't know why for a long time they refused to take that case. But as Matrix cracks, as the Western hegemony over the control of information cracks, now they're going to be held accountable for their crimes. The US and the UK bomb Yemen. Russia is now Europe's largest economy. Crypto went down. They're talking about this ETF. I don't know what, what that's going to do. Davos has started. Iran has attacked Iraq. And I, I think it blew up an American embassy. Yeah, next to the American embassy. South Africa has taken the US and the UK to court because they're complicit in a genocide against the Palestinian people. And it is the 16th of January. <laughs> Two weeks into 2024, all of this has happened. The internet operated a certain way up until extremely recently, and now it's being used to directly combat the information narratives which are being purported by the Matrix. And that is changing the reality of Earth in real time. 